To conclude the Clostridia species, we are going to talk about Clostridium pethringens. Right, so this bacteria is again the gram positive bacilli, uh, which is an obligate anaerobe, meaning to say it doesn't like oxygen at all. Uh, this bacteria, like other Clostridia species, it has the ability to form spores. Right, so let me zoom in uh, on the microscopy. Right, so as you can see, this is how it looked like on the uh, on the microscope. Right. All right, so uh, Clostridium pethringens is usually associated with military combat wounds and motorcycle accidents. Right, so what is uh, common between these two? They both involve flesh wounds, right? So the flesh wounds will, will be in contact with the soil because the spores are usually found in the soil, right? Okay, now let's talk about the uh, virulent factors uh, found in Clostridium pethringens. There are three. The first one is toxins, uh, particularly the alpha toxin, also known as lethicinase or phospholipase C. Uh, the other one are uh, enzymes and then uh, polysaccharide capsule. The alpha toxin uh, has hemolytic, lethal and demonecrotic properties. The enzymes have proteolytic properties and the polysaccharide is important uh, to help the bacteria uh, to evade phagot phagocytosis, right? So it is antiphagocytic uh, properties, right? So now let's talk about the main conditions caused by uh, Clostridium pethringens. The first disease is gas gangrene, also known as Clostridial myonecrosis. Right, so uh, on palpation, you feel uh, you can hear um, a cracking sounds, right? Cracking sound uh, because, uh, like this bacteria, uh, through its, metabol its metabolism, it releases gases like carbon dioxide, methane, etc. Right, so under the skin, there will be accumulation of air, right? And in, in some cases, uh, this myonecrosis can be extensive to the extent of needing uh, surgery to remove the necrotic tissues, right? Uh, so that one is called uh, necroectomy, right? So myonecrosis uh, involves the alpha and uh, the, the alpha toxin, also known as the lethicinase, right? So uh, let me show you how it looks like, right? So this is actually uh, gas gangrene, right? This is the presentation of gas gangrene, right? What happens? Uh, actually, uh, the toxins uh, have the ability to cleave the phospholipids, right? Phospholipids found on the uh, cell membrane. And also, they have the ability to cause uh, RBC hemolysis, uh, both in vivo and in vitro. In vivo, like in the living organism in the body, and in vitro, uh, this is experimental, so it will be in the uh, test tubes, right? Uh, then for treatment of gas gangrene, uh, we use penicillin G, but intravenous, right? So it's intravenous or IV penicillin G, right? The second condition caused by Clostridium pethringens is called food poisoning, right? So this happens uh, when uh, heavily spore contaminated food is cooked, but last is standing for too long uh, at a temperature um, less than 60 degrees Celsius, right? So if the temperature is less than 60 degrees Celsius, the spores will germinate uh, and they will release uh, this kind of toxin. It's Hitler biotoxin, Hitler bioenterotoxin, right? And this, it causes a late onset diarrhea, right? Uh, but the important thing here on this kind of diarrhea is you don't need antibiotics. It will just resolve on, it, on its own uh, within 24 hours, right? So uh, this concludes the Clostridium species, right? So you can click on the top right corner and access the, what, uh, the bacteriology playlist. 
Uh, and now we just finished the Clostridia species. In the next video on bacteriology playlist, we are going to talk about Corinibacterium diphtheriae and then Listeria monocytogenes. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe uh, and share this video.